Okay, so here's my super simple ball mill. Um, it took me like an afternoon to put together. It was really simple. Just uh, three pieces of wood banged together to form a platform. I've got a motor, 12 volt motor I salvaged out of an old printer underneath to drive the thing. The belt goes up through a slit in the top plate and around the, the container, the drum. And the drum is like about not quite two liters in size, I guess. It used to contain abrasive grit for a vibratory tumbler. So I've sort of repurposed it. I've got some um, El Cheapo casters I got from the hardware store, four of them, that support the drum. And just a little piece of scrap aluminum on the back because the drum tends to wander back towards that direction. And that stops it from going off of the casters. Works pretty well. Makes a heck of a racket when it's running, as you heard in the first part of the video. Um, right now, I am driving it with my variable voltage power supply, just so I can adjust the speed however I want it. But it works pretty well just on straight 12 volts, too. And um, what I'm using inside are some steel balls that I picked up off of eBay from this company, Tool Supply. Uh, 5 8 inch steel balls seem to work pretty well for my application in this size drum. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just grinding up the materials for um, a batch of glass. Basically the raw materials for a batch of glass are being ground and mixed inside the drum. And uh, the, the balls as they tumble in there they grind the material up into a very fine powder and very thoroughly mix it which is what I need for making experimental batches of glass. So it works pretty good. Now this could also be repurposed, I suppose, as a rock tumbler. I don't see why not. Um, the, the lid on this particular container isn't really watertight, but maybe adding an O-ring to it would help in that department, or maybe a piece of cork or something up in there would make it watertight, and then it could be uh, like a rock tumbler. Just put some water, some abrasive grit in there, and some rocks, and tumble it away. I don't see why that wouldn't work too. So, I mean, just super simple to build. It cost me, I think the only thing I paid for here was the casters, everything else I had. You know, I had some scrap wood, the belt laying around, a couple of empty um, abrasive containers and the power supply. Um, oh, and I bought the balls. Yeah, but they're, they're really cheap. So, and it works pretty good. We start it up again. And there it goes. Um... It's probably not the ideal container to be using with this. Uh, a little bit of the, uh, let me turn it off so you can hear me, a little bit of the blue plastic does wind up uh, getting scraped off and mixed in. But in my particular um, application, it's not going to hurt anything because when I melt that stuff down in the kiln, the plastic's just going to vaporize anyway. But uh, probably... Um, a steel a steel container would probably work better but boy would that make a whole lot more noise but uh, that might work better if you want a um, contamination free grind so um, that would be a possible improvement but on the whole it works pretty well pretty well indeed I'll give you a little close-up uh, look at a few things I mounted the motor on a little bit of a pivot here so that the motor can pivot down under its own weight and put tension on the belt keep the belt from slipping and that seems to work pretty well I haven't had a lot of trouble with the belt slipping the belt is just a big round belt I don't remember where I picked it up had it forever used it on a couple of different projects um, it's like a big o-ring big round belt works good here's a here's an overview of the top of the unit with the uh, with the drum off super simple construction nothing to it so when I'm done tumbling, I just dump out the contents of the drum into this sieve and give it a few shakes. The powder falls through and the balls stay behind in the sieve. So I can uh, put the balls back in the drum and uh, put in another batch of, uh, of, of ingredients and start grinding away. So on the whole, I'm pretty happy with it. It works pretty well. Uh, mixes up and uh, thoroughly grinds all of my material. Even so, some of them were pretty coarse. It's ground it all into a really fine powder and thoroughly mixed it up which is exactly what I wanted the ball mill to do. So it's working pretty good. I hope this has given you some ideas if you're in need of a ball mill or even a rock tumbler about how you can uh, build one fairly simply and cheaply. So good luck with your own projects and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.